Hi, my name's Mark, I'm Senior Staff Writer at Photoshop Creative and today we're going to be having a look at the Wacom Cintiq 27 UHD. Now this particular tablet we reviewed in issue 128, right here, it's this issue, um, we gave it a 10 out of 10. So today I'm going to be showing you just a little on how to set it up, how to get it connected to your computer how to get it running with Photoshop, and then we're going to do a little bit on the basics of digital painting, just to get you going. As you can see, we have two cables here. This is your visual connector, and this is your USB, and it's that easy to set up the Cintiq. Along with this driver CD, you just simply insert, click install, and then you'll have to calibrate your, your tablet. Now, as well as the Cintiq, you may have noticed, there's the Express Key Remote. Now, this is just your center for control really it has all your hotkeys all your navigation there's this little wheel here to control brush size zooming there'll be more on that later and this is to stop you from reaching over for the mouse the whole time as you can see it's a big tablet you want to have as much space as you can to be working you don't want to keep having to reach over to change your brush size the whole time so rather handily the remote is magnetic you can place it anywhere on the Cintiq keep it in your hand and as well as the Cintiq and the Express Key Remote, there is of course the Pro Pen. Quite similar to other Wacom pens, you have the eraser on the top, nib on the bottom, replaceable nibs in the nice little holster that it comes with. And you have these buttons here for right clicking, which makes it easier than ever to change brush size or just change brush in general. Now if you're new to digital art, digital paintings might look a little bit overwhelming, especially when you've got a tablet as high tech as this but it's really easy just to create a basic digital painting, which is what I'm going to show you here. Now, let's start off with this parrot. We're simply going to add a layer and draw over the top and then add another layer and so on and so on and so on and just build up brush strokes. Now, we have some special brushes for this. We have these two group brushes. You can find these on the file silo, links in the description. One of these is just an outlining brush and one of them's more of a watercolor brush, as you can see here. So we're just going to select the lazy fair brush and let's just make a bit of an outline on this layer one above the parrot's background. Now, as you're using the Wacom Cintiq, you will see that it is extremely sensitive to your touch. You can just glide over it as I'm doing now. or, and I'll show you on this bit, you can really press hard. And there you go, that's much more of a deep black stroke for the outline here. Don't worry about being neat. Often messy digital paintings have a nice charm to them anyway. Okay, now we've got our second layer. Now we're going to start the colouring process. We've got a nice green selected. And this is a great time for me to show you the Express Key Remote and what these little lights do. Now, as you can see, press the center button here and you can either zoom on the left, change brush size in the center, or rotate the canvas on the right. There aren't many opportunities that you'll need to rotate the canvas particularly. So it's the first two that we'll be using really. Now, if we just change the brush size, as you can see, I'm just scrolling up the brush size. Getting a nice thick brush. Now, if I hold the, uh, the if I hold the pen just slightly above the tablet, you can just see the outline of what I'm of my brush. And that's just start with a few strokes, just a few strokes of green over the top. As so. There's no need to be particularly neat as you're painting, of course, because we're just layering up, really. And as you're drawing, you simply change, change shade. Use the colour swatch on the right to do that. And you can simply brush with the Pro Pen. This is where having such a huge tablet really is an advantage, because we have as much canvas as we possibly could need 
and the QHD, that's 4K, 4K screen means perfect resolution, there's no need to zoom in any more than this, there's no need to get really, really close, all we have to do is create, and it really is the closest that you can possibly get to the feeling of real media. And there we have it, that's the basics of how to create a simple digital painting with the new Wacom Cintiq. And you don't have to be a great artist to have great fun creating digital paintings in Photoshop. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to follow us on Twitter at PShop Creative. Check us out on Facebook just by searching Photoshop Creative. And see you again soon.